my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us, and today I have this 2005 Prevo Liberty Elegant Lady um, Monterey Edition Double Slide, and that is a really long name for this coach, but um, a coach of this stature probably deserves to have a really long name. Today we're going to talk about the flaws, we're going to talk about some of the really cool features that it has, because it's going to have a lot of cool features. Um, yeah, and we're going to have fun today, so let's, let's try to keep it fun. Starting up front, this does have upgraded headlights, so these are much newer Prevo headlights. If you look at 2005 Prevos, um, they have these hideous looking like, well they're not hideous, but they're just, um, they're like standard old school headlights. They look like early 2000s, and this is early 2000s, um, but these headlights update the face. They make it look a lot better in my opinion. You got this beautiful grill down here, big Liberty Coach plaque on the front. Um, and there's a little rock chip right here, or it's not even a chip, I mean, because this is all, it's like an aluminum piece. Um, looks like a little, tiny little dent. But actually, the face of the coach is in really good shape. Um, you know, if you look around, there's not too much to talk about. I mean, there's a few little minor things down here, but the paint is actually in excellent condition. Um, it's very surprising. Check out this, the intricacies in the paint. Now, this stripe goes throughout the coach, but right now I'm taking advantage of it being low, so I'm going to show you. It's like this really complex um, and intricate design within the stripe and you know these paint jobs are not cheap at all they're some of the most high-end paint jobs on the market split you got two pieces of windshield pretty tall nice spotlight up top four massive horns it's got a great air horn as well as a um, ultimate horn system which has a hundred different tunes you can play um, which is kind of cool you can show up and have a good party now we're going to talk about the compartments here in just a second, but we're going to walk down the side first um, and give you really a quick overview of the driver's side of the coach. Now being a double slide, both sides are on this side of the coach. Now these seals are really cool, so how they work, when you press the button, um, they deflate and then the slide comes out um, and then they inflate again. And what this does is it provides you with an excellent, excellent seal that's unmatched um, you know, anywhere else. Really, they say you're supposed to have a window or a door open because they're so sealed. Um, you can break piece, you can break glass. It's they're that well sealed. These coaches. Um, I mean, you can get it down to 65 degrees. You know, like no problem if you want to. It also has three massive locks on each side. So how their arrow? Uh, of course, the whole slide is pneumatic. So when it comes in, um, those hu huge locks that go in place um, and provides some of the most stable and sturdy and tightest ceiling slides that you can possibly get. Um, the craftsmanship and the engineering that goes in this coach is really unmatched. This is the top dog. Um, this is really uh, as far out as you can get as far as how much extravagance, how much engineering, and how much tech you can get. It's pretty amazing. And down here we've got Michelin tires all around. And let's, let's see if I can find a date code. I'm pretty sure they're new. Yeah, these are new tires. Date code is 2719. I'm pretty sure they were put on um, within the last month or so. Oh, it's locked. Okay, that's right. We're going to talk about, I'm, see, I'm going through my habits here. I normally talk about the compartments first, um, but we're going to come back to the compartments. Let's, let's keep moving on down. Um, notice the change in the intricacies in this um, striping. So you have different colors even within the uh, background speckles in the stripe. They're really beautiful paint job attention to detail there. It's not just a red stripe, not at all. You can see it change. It goes from a lighter color here and gets a little darker. Um, gorgeous striping. And notice the paint striping continues upon your Girard awnings. And that's right, this has four Girard awnings, um, two on each side. Here is a quick glamour shot of those coming out. And uh, I'm going to show that while I continue talking. It's a pretty amazing looking coach. It provides you with a lot of shade or rain protection on the driver's side of the coach. As you can imagine, if you're hooking up, um, you know, if you're hooking up to power, your water connection, sewer, all that good stuff, um, and it's raining, you want to have the protection from these awnings even on the driver's side of the coach, which is really nice. Um, a lot of these 05 coaches didn't even have this. I've seen some on the market right now um, for what we're asking that just have the regular old zip the awnings, which are good, but they're really, really lame compared to these really nice Girards. Trust me, the Zipties are not fun to operate compared to pressing a button. 
All right, so we just had it buffed, as you can probably tell. So the chrome down the side is just gleaming. Um, now, I don't know if people have their personal preferences about whether they prefer the H345 or the XL. Um, I kind of like the XL because it looks more like a rock star bus, and that's just my personal preference. So we have our second slide back here. Notice this chrome, this aluminum continuing on the slide. Um, and by the way, the rear slide works the same way. The only difference is obviously smaller. There's only four locks, two on each side, one here, one up there, but the same deal with the seals to provide you with that excellent seal up. And around the back, this exhaust tip is for your 20 kilowatt generator, which we'll talk about in more. And that generator is turbocharged. Can you believe that? That's pretty incredible. This exhaust is for your Detroit Series 60 engine. Now you can notice, of course, it's side radiated, so you have these massive grills on the side and they look beautiful. Come around the back. And these actually, your, uh, your ambers are LED, which is nice. I'm not sure if that was upgraded. I'm pretty sure it was. Got your camera up top, beautiful paint. Um, all this chrome bits go very well with it. Let me crack this open so we can take a peek at the engine. So right here, if you wanna look real quick, um, how this, it took me a solid 15 minutes to figure out how to open this. I'm not even gonna lie. And the reason is, I'm standing up here and I can't see this lock, so it's pretty funny to watch me do this. So you just click that, oh, and it's locked. Well, we'll be right back when we talk about the compartments. I gotta go get the keys real quick, so yeah, pardon me. All right, I got the keys, and there are many buttons. You can operate it from the touch screen. This has the Creston systems to control the coach, um, which is pretty cool. We'll talk more about that later. Um, so now it's unlocked, you pull this lever. By the way, everything is finished, it's just an excellent. I mean, even this lever, all these pieces and aluminum. I mean, look at this. Normally on most coaches, these pieces that are uh, chromed out or aluminum, they're uh, surrounding your ambers and your lights are just plastic bits because they really don't need to be, but they're finished in real metal. This whole door, I mean, it's just the craft. I mean, look at this. This is, I can't, I mean, I'm, I'm skimming over it because if you're watching this video, you're already familiar with the craftsmanship. But for those of you out here, I mean, this is all real metal and this, the substantialness of them I mean, it's, there's no cheap, there's no cheaping out on this coach. Everything is engineered um, to the highest possible quality that they could get to. And Liberty is one of the top manufacturers or conversion manufacturers. This right here is a bus air system. That's like a $60,000 option that this coach has. And what this does is it allows you to cool your coach while running down the, co running down the road with just your engine, not having to fire up your four cruise airs um, and your generator. So that's really nice to have. Not all coaches have that. All right, let's, now right here is the lever. Let's pull that. And then let's grab this. There we go. This is a Detroit Series 60, which is one of the most legendary engines ever made. And uh, look at the size of that fan. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's pretty neat. You got this beautiful chrome piece back here coming up your thing covering up your uh, belts and everything and just making it look nice. Um, huge intake there, huge intake. And it's got a roof mounted intake as well, which is, you know, allows you to get cooler air and uh, just better airflow. But these engines are million mile motors very e quite easily. Look at the size of this turbo. I mean, this is insane. Look at this. I don't know what size, 80, 90 millimeter, maybe bigger. That's a massive, massive turbo. And um, I mean, that's pretty standard on a Detroit Series 60. It's just really cool because these diesels have massive turbos. All right, let me shut this up. That goes there. And see, these lock into place, so if you're out here working on it or something, the wind is not gonna blow it closed. Close it up, nice Liberty plaque there. And this is not a cheap plaque. <laughs> All right, let's walk around the passenger side. And now we're gonna get into the um, the compartments a little bit. So we have our tag wheel here, all brand new tires. So just the feeling of this is just excellent. Just pulling that up. I'm telling you, th this thing has some of the most satisfying buttons and clicks and just opening things up and operating it is satisfying in itself, even if nothing worked. <laughs> so right here is where your generator is. Um, let's open this up. We also have some water stuff going on. Water stuff going on. So you can dump your tanks and everything from here. Um, you've got ports on both sides. So you can dump this coach. Um, you can dump your tanks 
and fill up water from both sides of the coach. You can also plug it into power from both sides as well. These are all polished copper, which is just beautiful when you come up in here and look at it. You got your tank sentry, so you can check your tanks and everything. Pretty cool. Take your power. You got, you got your pump control, your auto, manual, lots of nice systems. Then you push. Now, the reason you have push button port, uh, your, your dumps, it has port dump, starboard dump. Um, you also have a macerator on this. But the reason you have um, push button is because if you're plugged into, um, if you're plugged into full service, you can be in the coach and just press the button and dump it. You don't have to come out, right? So you just have to connect it once. You're staying for week, two weeks, whatever. You never have to touch it again. All you have to do is push a button from in the coach if you need to dump your, your black or gray tank. And I feel bad calling it a black or gray tank, but guess what? It's an RV at the end of the day. That's what it is. Some of these little, the little finish here is coming off a little bit. I think we may be able to take care of this and make it look good again. It's not a really big deal at all. It's just a finish. Now this is a big deal. This is a 20 kilowatt, um, I think it's a Yanmar um, turbocharged generator. And I could be wrong, I think it is a Yanmar. Or it is a Kohler. Sorry about that. One of the manuals says Yanmar generators for some reason. I don't know why. Um, anyways, the fact that this is turbocharged and 20 kilowatts is incredible. Notice the airbags that they ride on. So you have the generator rides on the airbag, so just to reduce the vibrations coming in. And trust me, you can you really don't feel this generator at all when it starts up. You can hear it just a little bit. Um, but really, the air conditioners are not that loud, and they're louder than the generator. Generator is super insulated in here, very quiet, and it is on a slide-out tray too. Make it easily accessible for service. Close that. Now this right here is a fuel access panel. And just, just the feeling of this, this is all real metal. It just feels so good when it closes. Now in there you just have a bunch of electrical systems and stuff, boring mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so more electrical stuff in here. Now we have got some intriguing things going on here. Check this out. We've got, uh, I think they're two 4,000 watt inverters. And you have a, uh, it's a battery watchdog that's connected to your generator as well as your, your uh, inverters to protect you from surges and things like that. I believe that's what it does. Um, you also have main cutoffs up here. So you have your house 12 volt, house 24 volt, as well as two main inverter cutoffs. They're some of the most satisfying cutoffs. They're like proper marine cutoffs is really cool. I'm not going to pretend like I understand the rest of these electronics. Um, this thing has like two logic control systems in it to control your, you've got crushed on control to control your uh, literally almost everything in the coach from your generator to your electric shades. So pretty cool. You've also got an emergency backup battery for the CPU. Um, just in case your batteries go dead, your computer won't lose its memory and stuff. You've got an extra battery for that. Pretty nice. A little e electric heater in here which is really cold. Close that up. All these compartment doors lock out in place and they're all electrically unlocked and locked too. These of course open sideways because it's, you've got slide outs up above. You've got two nice fold out chairs, Liberty Coach. Came with it when it was new and they're still there. Probably never been used. Nice slide out tray here. So you just, again, nice. I mean, look at this. This is a chromed out metal piece here just for the lever to unlock your slide out tray. It's pretty cool. You got your breakers over here, some extra, you know, goodies and whatnot. This is all carpeted. Looks gorgeous. A lot of space, full pass through. Got some interesting stuff on the other side we'll talk about. You got power outlets in here. Um, two lights just on this side, two more on the other side. Very well lit. All right, oh, you lock out, so use that. Make sure it's all the way closed. There it is. Substantial, substantial locking mechanism there. All right, right here. Isn't this cool? This is like a Ford key. 
funny seeing that. Anyways. This is an interesting area right here. A lot more electrical stuff. Um, get your power steering. This is a cool system we're gonna talk about more later. It's got um, extra boost on your power steering. So this is like, uh, this is like the Prevo high-tech version of Newmar's Comfort Drive, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's a different system, so I'm not even gonna, it's not comparable to the Comfort Drive, but um, it's somewhere along those lines. A lot of electrical systems, again, not gonna act like I know about it. This is probably a lot for your, your uh, front dash area and stuff. Um, pretty cool. Okay, here's a water pump. It's got fuses here, water valve. So you can kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty well labeled, actually. And um, there's actually a lot of books and uh, manuals that have all the wiring diagrams and everything a technician would need to know about this coach is in it. Um, so that's pretty nice. You know, you've got everything is wired out so you can figure it out. You can learn. I mean, it's not like this is just some coach and you're on your own. You've got all the diagrams and things if you need to um, fix something or work on something. But beautiful looking coach. Um, yeah, let's go talk about the passenger side. All right, we're on the passenger side of this coach, and uh, this slide has no slides because your two slides are on the other side, and you get to see the paint in its full glory. Right, let's walk down the side, and we're going to talk about these compartments here a little bit. These air shocks are in good shape. Right here, you've got these nice outdoor storage compartments. They're all carpeted. This is pretty cool right here. Slide out, snap on. It's like a toolbox. What is this? this is pretty, yeah, that's a really nice toolbox. Wow. Put that back in place. So you got a lot of storage. You got your four awning controls right here. You can also control them through the Creston um, touchscreen system. Look at all the lighting. Very well lit out here. It's got outdoor neon as well. Now, right here is a cool compartment. You've got Hidden refrigerator, isn't that cool? It doesn't look like it. Refrigerator. I don't know, I just really like that, it's pretty cool. Up here you've got a nice Gen Air outdoor stove. So you can cook out here and be very high class about it if you want. <laughs> that back in. Now right here you've got an outdoor entertainment center. And I know this TV is a little old, but the main thing is you have all the controls. Um, I mean, you have all the hookups and everything out here already. And this slides out too, so that's really nice. You can put a nice upgraded TV on this slide out tray quite easily and for very, very, very cheap. Probably like, I would bet you could get it done for under $100. That's how ridiculously cheap TVs are nowadays. Right here, dual fill up, so you can fill up from this side as well. Let's see, one of these, okay, this is not unlocking, you're gonna do it with the key. It's that four key. Even the locks feel really substantial. Crack this open. This is pretty cool, so you got a nice outdoor sink, this little outdoor shower thing. Look at the finish on this. Oh, that's real metal, not plastic. This whole piece is metal. This comes out. Even that little fitting, everything is metal. Even the little fittings where you would totally expect to be plastic. And this whole thing opens up. You've got a massive water pump back there. I believe you've got a 20 gallon marine water heater, which uh, is in addition to the Wabasto 80,000 BTU system that you have. Oh, okay, I thought that opened for a second. You can open this compartment right here like this. This right here is a radiator for your, um, for your generator, got some fans provide with provide with provide you with nice airflow to cool that radiator and cool your generator off. Put that back in place. Shut that. Notice the connection port. You can plug in on both sides of this coach. And we're back at square one. Now, one thing here. Let me point out where you have your 50 amp power cord reel because you can plug directly into it, but it also has its own power cord reel. So you just open that up. This is another thing that took me like 30 minutes to figure out. It's hilarious. 
So I'm going to throw my dad under the bus, but actually he couldn't figure out where this was. <laughs> so I got, I got one up on him right there. Um, but right here, electric, wheel in, in and out. Press out, press in. Look at all this. This is really nice. They're not playing around, even with the 50 amp power cord reel. It's pretty cool. You got emergency stuff here. And that's all the compartment stuff. Um, there's some wax on the top of the coach, so apologize for that. It looks kind of bad. It, we got it buffed and it left some up on top. But overall, the coach looks excellent. It's not perfect. I think we got a missing hubcap right there. It's not a big deal, a little hubcap piece. Um, it is not perfect. However, this is a very nice coach and it's got a lot of nice features on it. And um, you know, a lot of things that you don't see on some of these Prevo buses from 05. Um, the double slide, not even including the double slide capability, which is really nice. Let's go take a step inside um, and talk more about this Liberty Coach. Look at that plaque, isn't that cool? I like that, it's on both sides. They, they hide that Liberty Coach everywhere, just to remind you. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go take a peek inside the bus. All right, before we get started on the interior, if you notice anything different about my appearance, please leave a comment below. Besides the attire, maybe, there's a hint. Anyways, as you walk through this coach, um, it gives off a style of, you know, a very Victorian style. However, I'll argue with my girlfriend because I kind of get a feel of like a high-end country club as well with this dark, beautiful craftsmanship in the woodwork. That's sort of the feel I get, um, but really it doesn't matter. It has a beautiful interior, very, very elegant, especially towards the back of the coach where it splits. This is a Liberty special um, design that you see in here. All right, so we're gonna start the more in-depth portion of this video with the kitchen area. Now, starting from the right and going to the left, we have our hidden Sub-Zero refrigerator. With the refrigerator portion up top and the freezer drawers, two of them, um, down below. I like how it looks. It's subtle. It allows the style of the interior to flow smoothly without being interrupted by an appliance, and I like um, this move. Now, stepping over to where you'll be cooking up your food, where you'll be using the sink, um, you've got this great flow of countertop here that just, there's different levels to it, and you see the contrast with the wood, and you see these elegant little pieces where they make like a, it's like a octagon shape right here looks very nice and I like the lip too you know it's also useful if you spill something up here it's nice to have that lip so it doesn't drip down the side of all your uh, wood and other paneling down here so I like the, the lip is not only um, nice to look at it's also very useful now there is a extension and it's actually pretty cool so you just go into your touchscreen system over here which there are four um, or actually five access points to this system. So you can do it from anywhere. There's two places over there behind you. Um, so all you do is go into mechanical and then you say galley cabinet slide. And this beautiful little extension um, pops out to give, give you more countertop space. Um, you can imagine you have your onions over here, tomatoes, everything is pretty spread out. Just gives you a little extra space. And also, I like the look. It creates an L-shaped kitchen and it just feels um, like there's more of a partition between here, the kitchen space, and your living quarters up front or the stateroom. So this area is really nice um, because it's not only providing you with extra countertop space, you can actually use it as, if you'd imagine, a little built-in bar, especially with this beautiful setup up above. Um, notice this woodwork and these nice crystal glasses. These are all real crystal, and there's a backlighting to in there as well which just allows light to glint off the crystal. And I love setting these down too. They have such a nice weight to them um, and they sound really good. But the woodwork is beautiful here. Up top, you have a nice vent for your air conditioning um, and it's been styled to look like a piece of art too. Now, over here, we have our sink and these have inserts and the inserts fit nearly perfectly as you can clearly see. Um, so the craftsmanship here is just top notch. And the sink is beautiful because it's the same material continued down into it. You don't get to see that a lot, this type of sink a lot. It's very expensive and it looks um, fantastic. The appliance, the, the Moan faucet also looks really nice. Now over here, we've got a, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this to be completely honest. It says Gaganel or Gaganu. I could be pronouncing that totally wrong, um, but it looks like a really nice flat top burner. These inserts, again, fit very nicely. You don't see, 
you can hardly see the seam, especially from an angle. We've also got a coffee maker over here that's built in and neatly hidden behind, um, behind these doors, the cabinet doors. We have a convection microwave up above. Again, hidden from sight, just to allow the clean look of the styling in this coach to continue to flow freely. Now down here, we have a dishwasher and a drawer. It's a Fisher and Pico. We've got lots of space here. We also have a trash compactor on the right side of the refrigerator. So that's a pretty useful device. Let's go ahead and move on into the dinette area um, slash eating area. All right, and the dinette um, slash eating area, as I called it previously, I'm first gonna start over here to my left. So I really like how the intake for one of the air conditioners is neatly hidden within the woodwork. Um, and they actually went ahead and styled the woodwork that's hiding it, it looks very nice. Now, in this area, we have this Alcantara type suede material behind the couch. Beautiful big dining area here that you can slide in um, at the push of a button so you have more space with the slides closed. Now, up top, we have this beautiful wood cabinet space. Automatic lights turn on when you open it up. Love how they look. The woodwork up here is excellent. This is all Alcantara as well, by the way. All right, let's step into the stateroom. As I look around the stateroom, you have a lot of space in here to um, socialize with fam family and friends um, while enjoying being in the laps of luxury. It feels like you're in a king's um, palace in here and it's really nice. The slide provides you with a lot of a lot extra space. Um, and check out the top of this lamp over here. It looks like a little crown. My girlfriend wanted me to point that out. Also, the woodwork continues from the slide nearly seamlessly. I mean, there's a seam, but um, it lines up perfectly with the rest. So, I mean, you can see the woodwork continues its flow, um, looking very elegant while doing so. Now, this couch is really comfortable, actually. So when you're sitting here, you have a good view of this beautiful coffered ceiling with a really nice looking pattern going on up there. That's, in my opinion, a Victorian style, and I like it a lot. You also have a nice recliner, like a Euro style recliner. Notice the woodwork. I like how it looks like a sandwich um, of stone with woodwork in between. It provides you with a nice contrast and I love how it looks. The lamps in here are gorgeous. Also notice the stone that continues around the driver's seat. It looks really nice. And even though the cockpit is off and you know nothing's on, the gauges are slightly backlit and the cockpit still looks very nice even though it's not in use. Now you do have two Creston controls in the living room area alone. Um, they are wireless, however the batteries are kind of old and need to be replaced, so they have to stay on the dock. Um, but it is really nice to have these systems because you can control, actually this one's battery works, so I can pick it up. The batteries aren't the best though, so they have to be charged up quite often. However, you can get it up and move it around. So you can control your lighting through here, um, you can control your mechanical systems, you can control your shades, your electrical systems. It's really nice so you can go in depth and here's mechanical systems. So your lighting master, all your accent lighting essentially. You can control your TV, your Bose system, you can listen to the radio for the living room, the outside entertainment. You have shade control for all of the shades. All the shades in this coach are electric. You've got, like I said, mechanical systems here. So you have all your galley slides, your outside neon, everything, generator, start, stop, things like that. Wabasto heat. You can even unlock your doors, your front door. So this provides you, and this is right by the be in the bedroom as well. So you can really control the coach from anywhere in, in here. All right, I wanted to step into the bathroom so you can get a feel of the image you get as you walk in. So follow me. So as you come back, you have your split um, hallways here, which look really cool. It's not often you get to see this in a coach. I'm pretty sure Liberty is one of the only manufacturers that does this design. But what's cool and what you forget about when you're in operation and you're doing what we're doing, taking pictures, walking through the coach, is that you can have this bathroom as a completely private bathroom, um, which is really cool and essential um, if you have other people. But it's also just cool to have that private bathroom feeling. It just gives you more of a comfortable feel um, while you're in the bathroom. Of course, that's up to personal subject. But as you can see here, you just find this bedroom pocket door. 
press the button, and that partition closes. And then the hallway leading to your kitchen area and stateroom area, um, if you press the button, it will close. This is all pneumatic, and it's very nice to use. So now you have a completely private bathroom here, which looks really nice and again gives you a nice feel while you're in here so in this bathroom slash hallway area we have this really nice little um, hutch space with these flower these fake flowers and um, leaves in them which look really nice um, provides you with a sort of nature feel and all of this stone is just elegantly done now over to the shower this is one of the nicest showers and nicest tiled showers I've ever seen so you step in um, this matches, the floor in here matches the coloring of the rest of the tile in the coach. However, they're smaller squares, but they're the same color, same style. Up here, again, same thing. Similar style, different shapes of actual pieces in here. But everything in here is a stone and tile. We have this nice backsplash in here. I like this seating area down here. And everything I see in here is metal, glass, um, with designer um, imaging in it, or stone, which is really, really cool to look at. Now, this is a temperature monitoring faucet and shower head. So what that means, if you set it at 80 degrees, it will send you 80 degrees water. It won't send you some um, arbitrary point in the thing where it's between the color blue and the color red. And uh, that's pretty impressive. So you know what that means, if you have really hot water, it'll balance it out as it comes out to exactly the right temperature. All right, over in the bathroom area here, or the toilet area, put my shoes back on and slide this. This feels very solid. Look at the design in that. The glass looks really nice. I like this area here. Notice this beautiful backsplash stone um, mixed with the regular stone that you see in the rest of the coach. Um, provides you, again, with a really upscale bathroom and Victorian type bathroom like what you would see um, some king in here using. Now please excuse our battery charger. I'm going to put it back behind here but as I do that notice the large amount of medicine cabinet space. There's one more cabinet space over here all with automatic lighting. Now there's a few bulbs out in this coach as you've probably seen already. Not a big deal just need to be replaced. Again this stone continues to create the bowl in a seamless fashion. Really solid feeling um, water faucet. And look at the water pressure. This is a huge, massive, high output water, um, water pump. All right, let's, and, and by the way, let's look at this. So you've got your porcelain toilet here, right? You have a door and quick access to your bedroom, which we will talk more about now. So as we make our way back into the bedroom area. You have a nice sink in here that's separated in the bedroom. So you could have your bedroom totally private and still have your sink. And of course, as we mentioned before, access to your bathroom. Lots of mirrors here mixed with this beautiful woodwork, um, which provides you with a nice looking vanity area. Again, same idea with the stone continuing to make that bowl instead of having a separate bowl. Beautiful backsplash and ventilation here as well. Again, same idea with the lip, so you don't spill. Think about it, if you're washing your face or something, water's going everywhere like me. I'm an absolute mess when I wash my face. Um, and my girlfriend always gets mad at me for it, but it's okay. So this lip would protect me here from that water rolling down and hurting any of these materials down here. Lots of electronics back here, provided with some storage on the right side. So you have your Bose surround sound system for back here and all that good stuff. You have a Wabasto heat control, your Sharp TV, Bose surround sound, like I mentioned, you got speaker, tweeter speakers up here, subwoofer hidden. Look at this woodwork continuing around here. I love the bedroom area because there's some subtle differences. I love this bedroom um, partially for the fact that the colors in here are different. So you've got this nice striping here um, and you have a different fabric material choice in the bedroom area. And normally these things like the stripes and this floral thing pattern would clash but the colors match perfectly and they actually go really well together down here we've got this gorgeous Alcantara um, cushion paneling on the wall and actually you have more of that around the bed as well and this provides you with a uh, an air of 
being separate from the rest of the coach. And I like that. I can imagine you have your bathroom or just your bedroom completely separate. It makes it feel even more separate, um, which I personally like a lot. Now back here we have a wardrobe. And check out the woodwork on this. Looks fantastic. Alcantara all in the ceilings again. Note that gorgeous coffered ceiling that matches the front we talked about earlier. And the woodwork surrounding that design is just superb. And a lot of craftsmanship went into that. The bed has this nice round shape. And of course, this is a slide out. You've got a lot of windows here. Again, these are all um, electronically controlled. You have a touch screen right here. Um, so you can control all your systems through it. So you don't even have to get out of bed. By the bed, your headboard area, you have your touchscreen access panel, so you can control everything in the coach. You even have a awning control switch right there as well. Notice all that beautiful Alcantara covered material. Um, the bed is this beautiful round shape. I love all this Alcantara. Plenty of windows, so you have each on one on each side of the slide out. Um, and all of these shades are electrically controlled. Like I said, you can control everything from that touchscreen. You don't have to get out of bed or anything, which is really nice. You have these huge storage compartments here. Power outlets on both sides. There's another storage compartment um, for each of the you know, people who are sleeping in this bed. So a lot of storage for all your cellular devices or whatever you have. By the way, notice this pocket door um, looks very nice and flows well with the woodwork and the design of this bedroom. So in the very back of this coach, we have a massive wardrobe area with an electric carousel to just allow you to access all of that space with ease. So you can push button either way. It's also ventilated, so things will stay cool back here, carpeted, and it's so big, one of us can fit in it quite easily. So as you can see, there is a whole lot of space in this wardrobe. I could have a bed back here and be perfectly comfortable. So this is just a demonstration of that. I figured I could just get up in it. I mean, two of us could be in this pretty comfortably. This is huge. You also have power outlets back here, and it gets deeper in that area over there, so you can have a full suit if you want to just hang in, um, or nearly. But nice, huge area. You also have shoe racks, adjustable. This is huge. I mean, what, what, what? You've got to have a lot of clothes to fill this up. That's what I know. And yeah, my girlfriend is pointing at, she's doing this. She'd love to have, she would fill this up in a heartbeat. I'd have like two shirts in here and she'd have like 8,000. Um, anyway, and she'd still steal one of my shirts. That's just how it is. Um, I think it's time to go talk about some of the systems. Um, in the center of the coach, we've got a breaker panel and some control systems. Then we're gonna talk about the cockpit. And then guess what? Drum roll, the best part, um, driving this coach. And I've been so excited to drive this coach. So without further ado, let's go talk about some systems and then get it on the road. So up top here, we have our two inverter controls. Below we have one of our five crust on touch screens. We have volt line meters and all of our main breakers here from our uh, two inverters. You've got tank sentries here for your holding tank as well as your water tank. Starboard port, two of the four cruise air controls, the SMX control panels. And this all hides beautifully back behind this tented glass or plexiglass piece. So in the cockpit area, before we get started, I just want to give it a quick firing up. Mind you, this is a cold start. It's beeping at me because the air is low. It's got to build it up. It automatically dumps your airbags um, when you park it, because that's the best way to store them. All right, while it builds it up, I'm gonna come back because that beeping is gonna be annoying until the air pressure is built up. Okay, so air pressure is built up. Now let's start to my left here. I hear my dad in the distance. Got an emergency brake, got my tag lift. We've got the ultimate horn here, so I can select 100 different horns. Go play. Go, let's go to 95. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I've got your leveling system here, slide control. It's got an automatic leveling system as well as manual. These are 
uh, mirror operations, operations, what am I even talking about? Mirror operations. The controls for your mirrors. <laughs> you got some light controls here. Um, fog lights, driving lights, window. Got this little window that can roll down. Cruise control, 4000 series Allison transmission control. Got a plug-in port, like a car, 12 volt. Got some shades. So these are sun shades. They come down on both the driver and passenger side. We've also got visors on all of the windows up here. This is my uh, fast idle button, which is really convenient when you want to build air pressure quickly. You just do that. It starts building air pressure quite quickly. This is your exhaust brake or retarder. So that's to turn it on and off. It's on right now, but it actually doesn't engage until you start clicking down on your transmission retarder right here, which is pretty cool. Docking cornering. This is for, uh, I believe, your tag. I can't, I'm not sure to be completely honest. Mirror heat, a mute button. Got a passport. So this is a uh, radar detector, all that good stuff. So you can turn it on and it'll show you passports. So if you're... Laser, K-Band, X-Band, it's got all the good stuff. So if you want to do 95 miles an hour in your Prevo bus, you, it is not recommended. Let me go on record there, but you, you can if you want to. It's your coach, do whatever you want with it. This is the controls down here, so you can go through. It's got all these, uh, it's like a trip computer, basically. Coach reads 80,930 miles, barely any miles. I like how it has a turbo gauge. Um, okay, so we talked about all this stuff. Let's talk about the cool stuff. So I've got a PA over here on my left, which is really cool. I can play a siren, all kinds of different sirens, ambulance, all that stuff. I can talk through it, yell at people to get out of my way. <laughs> I've got a CB, a Cobra. This is really nice stuff right here. Um, this is touchscreen, the Creston. So this is to control all your... your, um, your um, you know, good stuff. Shades, lights, entry locks, all that. And it's not on right now because our inverters are off. This flips up and you got a touch screen. Oh, check this out. Hold on, let me go turn the inverters on so I can show you this. Okay, so I've turned the recorders on, I mean the inverters on, and by the way, um, they weren't on because this clip has obviously been recorded separately um, from when we are, we're recording the interior and test drive. So this is kind of cool. You can turn gauge lights on and it backlights these gauges, which is really cool. So this is showing uh, volts from your engine. This is uh, volts and amps from your generator, or your house. Down here you've got coolant temperature, um, Liberty Coach, which is really cool. Volts there on the left. Not sure what that's for. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna get down here and look at what it says. Volts, okay, this is probably from your, yeah, that's for your engine. Intriguing that it has this temperature gauge as well as another temperature gauge up on the main dash. So you've got two water temperature gauges. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is really cool as well. Um, that's an altimeter as well as a barometer, um, which is really cool. It's got a, a temperature gauge and compass on it as well. But the fact that it has an altimeter is just, I don't know, that's very neat. It's a nice looking gauge, just like an airplane gauge. I love that, absolutely love that. And it kind of flips up too, um, really cool. Down here, you've got some more controls for your ventilation and things like that. Um, this is the control for the, your, uh, it's like an assist, power steering assist, Howard Power Center. So you can turn this baby up and uh, you hear the pneumatic pump come on and you can trim it up to wherever you want. So it'll build up way high or you go low. One more thing, it has a train horn too, which is really cool. Check this out. So I got curious about the Howard power steering system. And what I found out is that even though it does increase the stiffness within your steering wheel um, and how it feels, as well as help you go around corners due to this increased stiffness and being able to lock it into place, the main purpose of this Howard power steering system is to cancel out crosswinds. So if you imagine you're going down the road and you have a left to right wind, you can set the steering wheel um, slightly to the left and trim that Howard power, power steering system up and it'll set your steering wheel. So um, someone on these forums said you could take a nap at the wheel if you wanted to. So that's really the main purpose of the system. You're gonna hear me talk about um, it a little bit later in this test drive video that you're about to see. 
And I'm mentioning some benefits, but not all of them, so I wanted to throw this in there. All right, so I just went and fueled it up before we got on the highway. And the biggest thing, the best thing that I've noticed about this driving experience, um, and by the way, when I first started driving it, I was wordless. Like, I didn't have any words. This, this is by far um, one of the most interesting coaches I've ever driven. I simply can't hear the engine. Like, I'll look down and I'm revving like 17 or 1800 RPM, and I have no idea from my hearing senses or, the vi or from my, just my whole body feeling the vibrations. There's absolutely no engine vibration, and I legitimately cannot hear the engine in this coach. Like, you'll be driving it, and you'll look down, and you're like, oh, crap, I'm doing 2,000 RPM. This must be what, like, what it's like to drive a Rolls Royce, where you can't even hear the engine. I mean, it's so smooth and so quiet and, and very well insulated. It's so well insulated that you're supposed to have a window or a door open when you operate the slides because it's so airtight. Um, they've had glass break in these, which is pretty crazy to, if you think about it. But this is by far the best coach I've ever driven. Um, and they say don't meet your heroes, but you know, here I am meeting a hero of the RV industry. I mean, this is the epitome of class A buses and it's not letting me down. I do hear some, a little bit of wind noise um, coming from up there. That would be my only complaint. But other than that, this steering is just, it's, you know, I just did an SX video and I love the comfort drive because it centers you. But this chassis doesn't need an automatic centering device because it's already, as it is, a raw machine, mechanically strong. It's so mechanically strong as far as the monocoque chassis building goes from Prevo um, that it doesn't need any technology or nannies or electronics to make it feel better and make it easy to drive. I mean, this, and what that does is instead of feeling kind of unnatural, and the SX drives fantastic. That thing is one of the best driving coaches out there outside of the Prevo world. But this is just in a league of its own. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. All right, so right about now, you're seeing me absolutely freak out about how this coach drives. And um, I've come back to it a day later, let myself calm down a little bit. Um, and I totally, completely forgot to mention two important features about driving this bus. Um, one of which we'll talk in a second. The other I will mention right now. So this has a pneumatic slash hydraulic system um, that you can use by turning a knob and it'll increase the, or actually decrease the sensitivity and increase the rigidity um, of the feedback from your steering wheel. So if you like to be on the highway and you want it to have a lot of resistance, if it's, let's imagine it's a really bumpy road or there's a lot of winds, you want more resistance within your steering wheel, um, you know, you could turn that thing up. Or if you want it to be loose, as my dad would say, loose as a goose. Um, and to kind of handle like a Rolls Royce, you can have it super loose. I kind of like it loose. That's just my personal preference, but it's a really nice feature to have that. In a second, because I just completely forgot the exit I was supposed to take, um, we're gonna see this Allison Transmission um, assisted exhaust brake. It's pretty amazing, stay tuned. All right, so we're coming into an exit so I can demonstrate the exhaust brake. So there's like seven different settings here. The exhaust brake's on, but to engage it, you click this down. So that's the first setting all the way up until the strongest setting. And the strongest setting, um, I'm not, I haven't touched the brakes at all. We've come down from 60 miles an hour all the way down to 20, 15, 10 miles an hour. Now, given we're kind of on an incline here on this exit, um, however, even considering the incline, I mean, the amount of uh, stopping power you have just through this exhaust brake is pretty impressive, but it's not only the power of that exhaust brake, it's the variability of it. So you can have an extremely light exhaust brake. Let's say you're coming down a very slight incline on the highway and you don't want to start accelerating too fast. Um, however, if you have a, a standard single, dual, or even a three-stage exhaust brake, those don't have as much variability as this do, as this does, as this do. Listen to my English. It's pathetic. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, the variability is really nice. That's the, that's the big plus of this um, because it allows you to match your speed on most all hills that you'll encounter on the road. Anyways, let's get back to me freaking out. 
it's so well insulated from the engine. It's, it's absolutely, it, it's blowing my mind right now that I can't hear the engine. Every diesel coach ever, I've heard the engine. Even other Prevos I've driven, the older Prevos, you can still hear the engine. But this, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and set cruise control here. We're at 60 miles an hour. Oh my gosh, this feels better. This drives better than, oh, I, I don't even have words right now. <laughs> this is, I love my job. I, this is the best job on the planet right now. I'm so happy and pr that I'm privileged to drive this. This is amazing. I'm at 60 miles an hour just, I want to keep going. I've already passed the exit. I normally take my exit. Look at this. <laughs> no hands and it's just tracking. It feels so substantial. It feels like it just has this massive presence on the road. Oh, and I really want to keep going exits here, but I know it's, it's not going to lie. It's about 2 o'clock, 2.15 in the morning right now. And my girlfriend's mad at me. We, she really wants to go to bed. It's Sunday night. Um, so I'm going to take this exit, even though I re I've already passed our normal exit. I'd love to keep going. I want to keep going. I want to take this to California right now. Oh, my gosh. One day I will, I, I want one of these as a personal coach. Not right now. I'm 20 years old. But the fact that I get the, the privilege of driving this. Thank you guys all out there for supporting our company. And, you know, we try to treat others as we like to be treated. So we have a lot of repeat business. And. We absolutely love what we do, um, and this is why we do it. This is why we love it. This is why we love Prevos, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sort of stealing um, a quote from uh, Chris Harris. If you ever watch some car videos, he makes some really great videos. Obviously, what we're doing is incomparable to what they're doing, but um, he said something along those lines. This is fantastic. I'm going to get back on the highway here. And he said that in his F40 video, Ferrari. I'm going to cut because I'm rambling. This is fantastic. We'll come back in a second. I'm going to calm down a little bit. This is, this is an experience of its, on its own. Um, I'm trying to calm down and, and be a good presenter, a professional presenter here, but I'm kind of losing my marbles because this is just so fun to drive. I mean, this is, this is excellent. This is engineered um, to the finest and the, the, the most, the 10th, the, the, the 100%, they've went all out with the engineering on this. Um, and it, the, oh my gosh, I'm going nuts. So we're gonna talk about the, the passenger's point of view here because I'm failing to come up with uh, eloquent words and sentences right now because I'm just enjoying this so much. I mean, I'm in the right, moment so right now. As a passenger, this is Kaya, um, how would you feel you rate this experience? Yes, out of one, like one out of, let's say, um, what do you like the most as a passenger? And we're going through an awful road, an excuse for a road right now. Um, so excuse that. It is really quiet actually through this, which is very surprising. This is mostly where. Not, not even, I don't even call it rattling. There's just like this. Yeah, a lot of that could be remedied. So there's like some minor rattling in the back she's talking about. You really don't get it at all on the highway. As you probably noticed, you get it when you go through these poor excuses for pathetic pieces of asphalt. Um, I could go on and on for on a rant about our South Carolina roads. For the most part, they're pretty terrible. But if you're going over terrible roads, you'll hear some rattles. But like this is pretty smooth here. There's a bump there. But on the highway, there's the rattles are pretty minimal. Yeah, there's just a little bit of wind noise. A little bit of wind noise, yeah. It's very floaty. Yeah, it does. It's it's it's. She said she could fall asleep right now. And I don't know if that's just because it's really late. I'm just kidding. No, it's, I know what you mean. These things ride in an uncannily smooth way. It's, it's, it's kind of like, like my 7 Series, my, like my E38 7 Series. Would you not say similar, maybe a little more floaty, like mixed yeah, with a Lexus? It reminds me of my car. Reminds me of your car. Yeah, her car, she's got a, she drives a Lexus um, RX350. And if you've ever driven one, you, uh, you will know what we're talking about. If you haven't driven one, they kind of, they float they the and absorb the bumps very easily. Just float over the bumps. I see as a driver and as a passenger, that's fantastic. That's what you want to feel. You want to feel that soft floating, right? Um, but as a driver, this thing is really good at providing us with
basically virtually no engine noise, which is great. Very quiet, and the ride is super comfortable, but as a driver, I feel very connected mechanically to the road, and it just sticks kind of like a 7 Series. So I love how it's doing both the comfortable part, but also the driver experience, because a lot of times, especially in performance cars, um, you kind of sacrifice the comfortable drive feel, for the most part, for most cars out there, in order to have more of a driver's experience. But in this case, the driver's experience is amazing, and the passenger and how comfortable it is is also amazing from what it seems like. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, this, is, this is amazing. This is the best coach I've ever driven, hands down. It's an honor to be able to drive this. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to pull it back. I'm pulling it back into our facility here. It's about 2.30 in the morning, and I've really enjoyed this. Um, yeah. What an experience. What a privilege. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you have any more questions or you're interested in this coach, please give us a call at 864-376-5600, which is my number, um, or my dad at 864-404-0054. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like our content, please subscribe. Um, that way you get to see more of what we've got coming in. We have a lot of nice coaches. Um, we try to keep nice stuff in our inventory. We're not perfect, but we, we like what we do a lot, and I think that helps in most business situations. When I find people um, who specialize in things, I want them to love what they do. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.